Hi, this is Chris from Hurricane with your Friday IPv6 update. Today's article comes from a blog written by Meravetis, which is an analyst firm that focuses on disruptive innovations and technologies. Meravetis did a report called the Wireless Backhaul Market from an All IP Perspective. And in the report, they were sort of surprised to learn that wireless backhaul vendors aren't really being pressured by operators to provide IPv6 capability, except for in some sort of future upgrades. As far as Meravetis sees it, deployment for LTE is a good time to upgrade to IPv6 in order to minimize maintenance on backhaul links after installation. Only a few companies like Comcast and Verizon have made such decisions so far. The writer from Meravetis poses this question, how does a layer 3 migration to IPv6 affect the layer 2 Ethernet backhaul? The answer comes in two sections, the management plane and the data plane. Due to the fact that each backhaul device needs an IP address to be configured and monitored, remote control of network devices is crucial for operators. In order to properly manage the network, operators need to be on the ball with IPv6 functionality. Now with the data plane, IPv6's influence would seem to be minor because IP packets are just cargo on the Ethernet backhaul links. However, new requirements from IPv6 in Quality of Service, or QoS, require that certain IP packet fields be examined by backhaul equipment to assure proper prioritization. Meravetis' end opinion is that mobile operators will be able to react and prepare in time to reduce or eliminate any adverse effects from the initial switch to IPv6. Mm -hmm.